Okay, it's Maglin coming at you again. So, there's been a lot of confusion on how to install the Voron Cura. I made this a while back. I don't know how long ago now. <clears throat> I believe the Cura is on 4.2. I'm still using 3.6. Uh, one of these days, I will probably get around to moving this over to 4.2 or 4.10 or whatever they're on at that time. But uh, for right now, <clears throat> Everything I need is in 3.6. I have no reason to update. Um, I understand some of you always want the latest and greatest, and I gotta have the newest, the greatest, and all the bugs that come with that. But uh, I used to be one of those people. But uh, nowadays, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Really goes a long way because it saves a lot of my time. So anyway, uh, whether or not you want to install the, if you don't want to use Cura 3.6, then don't bother. Um, I don't see a reason why not to. Uh, I'm just going to show you how this works. It's real quick. It's easy. Um, this is a clean Windows 10 install. We'll just do a quick uh, install of Cura here. Uh, you should be able to install this if you install Cura to the defaults, which is all I'm going to do. If you install Cura to the defaults, you don't have to reinstall unless you don't have 3.6 then um, then you'll have to downgrade or install 3.6 uh, into its own uh, folder you don't need to necessarily overwrite 4.2 um, there's some ways to do that I'm not going to go through that just just right now but uh, I do have this in a virtual machine so it is a little bit slower it's on spinning metal uh, Oh, there it goes. It's starting to go a little bit quicker. Man. I'm going to have to edit this out. It takes so long. God, I hope, uh, hope I'm not too loud here. Let's go ahead and install the drivers. Blah, blah, blah. All right, now Cura is installed. The drivers are installed. We're going to go ahead and not run Cura just yet. This is the RER that I created. I'm just going to right click on it here. We are going to actually I'm going to see what happens if I can crap. I don't have I don't have my uh, download client, so we'll just install one area real quick. Maybe. Bing is the worst. Just my opinion. So, I'm going to run it a little faster, less clicking to do. I was kind of doing this off the cuff. I said earlier today that I would make this video. 
So I'm just kind of throwing it together. I might not even cut out all that crap I just for the install of Cura because I might not have the stuff to do so. All right, now we can open this up. And you can see there's a zip in there and an EXE. Uh, all we want is the EXE. The zip is for people on Mac and Linux to move stuff where they need to um, because it's going to be in different locations. And uh, that's outside the scope of this video. This is just for all you Windows plebs. So double click. We do not want it to go to the desktop. So we just go to this destination folder and we're going to go to just C. That's all we're going to do. Hit extract. Yes. And now we're going to go ahead and start Cura. There we go. Sure, why not? And I guess I understand and agree. So, you're going to add your Voron in here. Oh, go to other printer, scroll down to the V's, and find your Voron. So, I'm a 250 guy. I'm going to add a 250. Add printer. Uh, I don't like collecting data. Oh, it's at 4.1, not 4.2. All right. So, you'll see... We have a nice little bed here. Got our nice MZ uh, Voron design logo. And you're pretty much ready to go. Uh, if we go look at the machine settings here. Once this thing uh, finishes loading, Jesus. Oh, come on. What's going on here? Do not know what happened just there. This is what I get. I could have just done it on my on my local computer. It would have been just fine. Fine. Well, you can collect data. It's on a virtual machine. I don't care. What I do care is my eyeballs my eyeballs are being raped with uh, this theme here alright so I'm going to fire this up one more time <clears throat> there's not a whole lot you have to do uh, this is so many people I see like oh I'm having problems with this I'm having problems with that it's on the brand new Voron 2 and uh, I'm like, try this. It, I, I've spent a lot of time. I'm not saying this is going to work. I'm not saying it's going to give you the best print possible. What I am saying is I have put thousands of hours of printing in on this. And these are the, these are the exact settings I use. Um, so if we go to our printer here, it's not all jacked up. So you see everything's already at 250. Um, this is the actual print head settings. This is all relative to the nozzle. Um, if you're running Clipper, you should have print start and print end for your G-code, so that's already there. Uh, four millimeter nozzle, it's a standard 175 filament. So you're practically, you're just ready to go. You just need to ch change your material. Um, you just go to manage materials, and this is what I do. Uh, we're, we're making ABS, right? So we're gonna go to ABS, we'll duplicate, and then Label it. And you know, you, 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 know, you can do the, whatever with this that you like. Um, I like to leave it, I like to leave this stuff pretty much alone. Uh, but you do want to come to your print settings and set this up how you how you would need to print your ABS. Uh, so everyone is slightly different when it comes to this. Now put in your retraction settings. 
can't. I have to use uh, I have to use my key. And 80 millimeters. You do not want 80 millimeters a second. 40 is pretty good starting value. Uh, you can leave this stuff. Uh, this is your max speed. So put something in there like 40, 50 percent, especially if you're using those deltas. Um, and this will get you going. So now I got my Zealtic ABS that I put in there. Um, if I go to custom here, uh, we need a model to print. Uh, let me grab one. Let's see here. Uh, what's a good model? You guys tell me a good model. What's, what's a good model I, sh I should print here? Um, hmm. So many things. So I'll just go over. It's come over. All right. There's an MZ Black Cube. So as you'll notice, it's orange. That's what I chose for the color or my material. Uh, pick your profile. These are all tuned. So something that no one's ever mentioned. If you go here and look at the speed. Oh, let's put this on. Let's show everything, right? Come on. God, it's, this VM is so slow. I should have gave it more than basically minimum everything. All right. I've kind of tweaked these settings, and it's actually more of a volumetric thing. Um, but your outer, your outer stuff is still nice and slow to give you that nice, pretty, pretty exterior finish. But you know, when you do your 1.5 stuff, uh, it'll print actually pretty quick. You know, once to see how fast this will say. This will take, and this is based on my machine, 39 minutes, right, for 0.15. On draft 2.0, it should be pretty much 70s. Yeah. How long is it going to take? 39 minutes. Yeah, look at that. And then on fine, and I can't remember what I did on fine. I, I never print at 0.1. Uh, well, it looks like I left the same speeds and speeds. The seat speeds for that I did for... Uh, Point two. So there you have it. Um, if you change anything, anything in your profile, you know you just save it as a custom profile. But you can always come back to a known good uh, profile. Um, it might look like it's the Ultimaker defaults, but it definitely is not. Uh, there's a, a few people have noticed there's a few things in here that I've added um, that's just not even available. Uh, but you don't even need to go in here and do this. And man, my my graphics. I think it's the graphics on the VM. And something with Cura. But anyway, uh, that's how you install the Voron Cura. It's that simple, real easy. Um, I made it I made it pretty idiot proof for Windows, I thought. Uh, if you don't trust an EXE, unzip it. Use the use the use the R R E R file that I have in here. If you think I'm installing malware on your computer, um, then go ahead with this zip file, you know. This has everything inside of it as well. It's just, uh, you probably don't know where all this stuff goes. <laughs> so, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, what did I just do? I think I double clicked. There we go. So, you get to put all these uh, what were in their respective folders. Which is basically what I've already kind of defined there. So do what you need to do. Anyway, uh, I've talked for way too long. I don't know how long this has been going on. 14 minutes. Oh, my God. This is Maglin. We're on design. I'm out of here. Deuces.